I'm sure you've been on many scuffles uh, during your playing <laughs> days. Anything that's bad or you felt like perhaps it could have been handled just a little bit better, but just the, the anger and the adrenaline of the pitch got to you? No, it's it's good for the world. I mean, I, I had a scenario with Richard Goff when I was playing at Everton and um, we were facing the corner just before half time and the both of us, give it, I give Richard Goff some verbals as being club captain and he gave me a lot back being a senior pro. Uh, and we went in a half time and we had a real, you know, real verbal sort of disagreement, if you like. Uh, and players got involved. It was very heated. But what I took from Jose's reaction, and me and Gary knew it was coming because we've we, we've seen him a million times. We've all been involved with them. This is when you know and you can identify with players that they do care because if if Larice is not having a go at Son, it, it, he's not passing on his experience of what he can see from his position because he might have smelt something dangerous was going to happen. And Son, who is an incredible worker wouldn't have been happy with Larice saying something. But I tell you what, now that they've got in it full time with three points in the bag, I would guarantee you they'll be sitting together, they'll be chatting together, they might have an arm around each other when they have a shower or have a bath or whatever the scenario might be. They'll be best of friends again because that's how football should be. It's not all nicey-nicey when you're in the Premier League. It's the best league in the world. And when the adrenaline's going and when it really matters and when you've had a meeting with Jose Mourinho days earlier, which... A lot of home troops would have been said, and sometimes it's not comfortable. Sometimes they are brutal, and sometimes you need to be knocked down yourself, even though you think you've got ideas on the game. Young um, and experienced professionals as well, you all have to listen. And sometimes the managers are not even involved in those meetings. They let the senior players take control of the meetings. But when you come off that pitch tonight, I guarantee you, Jose would have been looking at Son, and he would, would have been looking at Larice thinking, those are two I can rely on. Gary? Well, it, it reminds me of a little tale, funnily enough, playing for Spurs against Everton, but at Goodison Park. And uh, Gazza, Paul Gascoigne, was in the Spurs side alongside me at the time. And uh, he got himself booked, and it looked like he was going to get himself booked a second time. And I've stepped in to protect him. And he's ended up with his hands round my throat because he wanted to get at the Everton player and, and was almost offended by me protecting him. Um, but, you know, Gaza cared. You know, Gaza was totally committed at all times. And, you know, although I wasn't too happy at the time what he did, but, you know, come the end of the game in the changing room, it was all forgotten. And, you know, he was actually pleased because he did manage to stay on the park. Just, just on that one, Michelle, very, very quickly, after that game with, with myself and Richard Goff, at the end of that game, Walter Smith, our manager, took the two of us into the boot room at Goodison Park and he said to both of us, is there anything you want to say? And I apologised to Richard Goff. Richard Goff apologised to me. We both shook hands. We won the game. We moved on and we walked out the boot room, arm around each other because... You know, it's two professionals that actually care about their job. They care about winning. They, they, they love the responsibility. And that's what Jose will be secretly wanting. He will want more characters like Larice and more like Song.